I'm gonna second thing. I'm just gonna. That's it. I didn't realize it was so short. Why are you zoomed in so much? In this travel episode, Gary and I take a day trip from Tokyo to Hakone. We had a great time hopping on the love train, taking a pirate ship across Lake Ashinoko, exploring Gora Park, and taking a naked dip in an onsen. That and so much more is coming up next. Good morning, guys. This is us on our way to Hakone, which is slightly outside of um, Tokyo to the north of Tokyo. It takes about an hour and a half by train to get there. It's near a lake that leads onto the beach and the ocean and you can see Mount Fuji from there. Anyway, we're first going to take the tube and from there we'll take the train. And you can actually get a round pass which allows you to take not only the train to Hakone, but once you're in Hakone you can take all sorts of tubes, railways and the ropeway which unfortunately at the moment is closed because of risks of volcanic explosion. We are in Shizuka station and looking for the Udaki Travel Centre to buy our food pass, which is supposed to be located around the west exit to the station. There are two possible routes from Tokyo to Hakone. The one-way journey on the romance car of the Odaiyuku Railway from Shinjuku Station to Hakone Yumoto Station takes approximately 85 minutes and costs 2,080 yen. Alternatively, a journey on the Kyuku Express train takes around about 2 hours and will set you back 11,090 yen. My advice is to purchase the Hakone Free Pass, which includes a return ticket from Tokyo to Hakone Yumoto and unlimited use of the selected trains cable cars, ropeways, boats and buses in the Hakone area. Hakone, located 100 kilometers north of Tokyo, is part of the Fuji Hakone Izu National Park. Hakone makes for a great one or two day side trip if you are looking for a break from Tokyo and want to be surrounded by nature. It is particularly famous for its hot springs, natural beauty and the potential to catch a glimpse of nearby Mount Fuji. We're trying to keep our budget to about 500 for lunchtime and since everything here in this town seems to be more expensive than around the 1,000 yen mark, we decided to go and get some food in the 7-Eleven. I just got a bun and some beans. Are very healthy for you, and then we both got a dessert as well for 300 yen. We really can't complain about that. From Hakone Yumoto, board a local bus and head to Lake Ashinoko. This lake was formed in the calder of Mount Hakone after the volcano's last eruption over 3,000 years ago. Today, Lake Ashinoko, with Mount Fuji in the background, is the symbol of Hakone. If you're lucky and you visit on a cloudless day, you might catch a glimpse of Mount Fuji. The best views can be enjoyed from Moto Hakone, and visibility tends to be best early morning or late afternoon during the colder seasons. That's us in Moto Hakone and we're now looking for a big pirate boat. Two types of boats. The pirate boat is the one that you get on the trip. Yeah, 
Yeah. So it turns out that the last boat is actually at half past four, uh, which leaves us a little bit of time. We're going to still take the boat at three o'clock and we want to go and see the shrine if possible, which is on the opposite side. Maybe. So we'll be walking over there and we'll have to keep track of time. Twenty minutes to get there, twenty minutes to get back. Did I get lucky to let come in blue? It's becoming clearer, maybe. Hakone Shrine sits at the foot of Mount Hakone, along the shores of Lake Ashinoko. We're walking along the edge of the water towards the Tori on the water side, and that's how we're going to head up. Although the shrine is hidden in a dense forest, its location is marked by a huge Tory gate that stands proudly in the lake. I didn't realise it was so short. Why are you zoomed in so much? Luckily, don't wear thongs over here. That would be really bad. A path leads from the Torre Gate up a series of steps flanked by beautiful lanterns that light the way. Hakone Shrine is a Japanese Shinto shrine that was founded in 757 during the reign of Emperor Kosho. The original shrine was located at the summit of Mount Komagatake. The shrine was then relocated to the shores of Lake Ashi in its current form in 1667. The approach to the shrine is lined with huge cedar trees. They are more than 800 years old and create an atmosphere of wonder and beauty. One of these special cedar trees, decorated with sacred straw rope, is believed to be a symbol for an easy delivery when giving birth. made it to the boat just in time. We'll go across Lake Ashi to Torgandai where we will take a bus uh, up to the mountains. Motahakone, where we were just a couple of minutes ago, is where you can get the best views of the lake combined with Mount Fuji in the background. The mountains surrounding Lake Ashi have experienced steam explosions for hundreds of years, and people took this as an expression of rage from something evil. The myth tells us that the evil spirit was a nine-headed dragon living in Ashinoko Lake. A monk who had practiced at a shrine at the top of a nearby mountain exercised the dragon and it turned into a protective being instead. Mountains 
From Togendai, board the Hakone ropeway and head to Ovakudani. Ovakudani is an active volcano zone where you can experience the sulfurous flames, hot springs, and hot rivers of Mount Hakone. More adventurous can follow a two hour hiking trail to reach the peak of Mount Kamiyama. Note that due to intense volcanic activity, access to Ovakudani was prohibited during this vlog. Instead, a substitute bus operated between Togendai and Sunzan. What do you think? Yeah. I think they were waiting for us. Uh, we're now in the Hakone cable car which takes us down from Suzan to Kumaru. Yari cannot master the language of Japanese. It goes in on one side of his ear and then leaves on the other. There are four stops on the cable car to Goro, and most of them lead to different onsens that are sitting up here in the mountain. In Sunzan, board the Tozan cable car to Goro. The cable car rises 211 meters between Gora Station and Sunzan Station, covering the distance of 1.2 kilometers between the two points in approximately 10 minutes. The degree of incline is visible if you look down from the seats at the back of the cable car. When are we buying all our souvenirs? We're now heading to Hakone Bora Park, which is kind of set in a French style and it's supposed to be really relaxing. So, a mixture between Japanese and French gardening, pretty formal. What are you looking at? Sushi shop. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is the rose garden. <laughs> the wrong time of the year. Was it like rose? Really strong rose. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It has some kind of vanilla though as well. Yours is strong as well. Mine is good as well, yeah. Mine's mango. Gora is a western style landscape park built into the steep slope of Gora. If you purchase the Hakone free pass admission, it's free. Opened in 1914, this park was Japan's first French style garden with a design focus on factors such as symmetry and geometric shapes. Visitors can enjoy cherry blossoms, azaleas, rhododendrons, hydrangeas and other plant life throughout the four seasons. Its rose garden is the most famous feature of this park. This is the rose garden, obviously at the moment not in bloom, but just imagine how magnificent it would be if it was. Inspired by French landscape gardens, Gora Park features a large fountain, rose garden and two greenhouses. One housing a tropical botanical garden, while the other contains a flower garden. Additionally, there's a restaurant overlooking the main fountain, as well as the Hukundu Shine Tea House. Is it? Yeah. But they're closed now. Like the old fashioned oh. you sit on your knees and then they bring out the tea lady and all that. You know, if you do the thing, like you go in, it's got the, you know, the thatch roof. Yeah. Is this the way in? In the craft house, visitors can take part in craft activities such as glass blowing, glass etching, pottery and dried flower arrangement. Activities range in cost from 1,000 to 5,000 yen and take from 30 minutes to an hour to complete. Relax, unwind, enjoy the magnificent views across Hakone. Right, 
now we're leaving Gora and heading on to the Hakone Tozan train, which is one of the most beautiful train rides in this region. So really looking forward to that one. Starting to get a bit dark, but it's only five o'clock, so we should have daylight until about six o'clock. The Tozan Railway is Japan's oldest mountain railway, and it leads to a national park. So it actually has to drive all the way around affected areas, and it stops three times. The best time to lift, take this railway is actually in June or July when all the flowers bloom. The second best time is in autumn when everything turns red and orange in colour. From Gora, head back to Hakone Yomoto on the Hakone Tozan Railway, Japan's oldest mountain railway. The 35 minute journey winds itself through a narrow and densely wooded valley over bridges and through tunnels, stopping at several stations on the way. This train ride is particularly beautiful in June and July when the tracks are lined with beautiful blooming hydrangeas. Bizarrely quiet in Hakone Yamoto at 6 o'clock. Nobody is really in the streets um, and it seems like we're not going to be able to get a train back. The trains do run until 11 o'clock so we should be fine. We're heading to a... Where are we getting a... bus from? Back there? Yeah. We could pop into the train station on the way back and double check the times. Yeah, we'll double check the times. Uh, we're now walking along the riverbank to a restaurant that is famed for the local dish, it is I think called Sebu. I want to give a try if possible. Where's the entrance? Oh, the old urban restaurant we went to was really quaint. Gary was a bit picky with his food, didn't want to eat there. So we're now heading to an onsen called uh, Tenzan. Uh, there's a shuttle bus from the station that takes you there in about 10 minutes. It's two stops uh, and it costs 100 yen each uh, for the shuttle bus. And they're supposed to have restaurants and obviously all the onsen spa area. Uh, entrance is 1,200 yen to get into the wooden bar. End your day trip in Hakone Yomoto with a meal and a dip at one of Hakone's popular ryokans. Many ryokan open their baths not only to residential guests, but also to daytime visitors. Personally, I would recommend Ryokan Tenzan, a beautiful traditional Japanese bathhouse with a collection of various outdoor hot spring pools. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new.